Good morning, everybody. Today, we are hiking in Kings Canyon National Park along the Redwood Creek Trail in the, I think it's called the Giant Redwood Grove. And of course, brought my buddy Scott so guys, back along. We're just doing a one night uh, camp out in the woods. Looking forward to it. Look at these dogwoods. Tree Trail and Redwood Creek Trail. We're gonna go Redwood Creek. What do you think? Are you in the zone? I think it sounds good. Auto zone? Mm -hmm. Wow. You think you can hike over that spot right there? This thing is massive. So this is the inside. Wow. Wow, check it out. Hiking deeper into the Redwood Canyon, and the scenery is getting better and better as we go down. Uh, there's dogwoods everywhere, they're in full bloom, and there's not too many people down here. I don't think we've actually seen anybody since we've been down on this trail. Um, but 
Yeah, it's gorgeous. We're gonna look for a spot next to the water, hopefully. Uh, but you know, 200 feet from the water, but close by and camp out down here. This is great, these dogwoods. So right now we're kind of bushwhacking, trying to find a campsite down here. Finally got to the creek. This is all the water we have. It's mid-May, so not very good. But uh, looking for the sequoias. <laughs> This spot might be good. Lots of sticks. What about next to the uh, to the sequoia over there? Back there? Yeah, let's go check it out. So we just crossed the creek and now we're heading up an embankment off trail of course and looking for an awesome spot within the sequoias. It's great because no one's out here. Nobody is out here. This is awesome. Scott, so what's happening right now? Looking for a home. Home away from home. <laughs> Do we have one? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move in down here. <laughs> I'll come back. I think we found a good one um, <laughs> over next to this uh, this sequoia over here. Looks really nice. We're way off trail uh, in an undisclosed location. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like it could be the spot right down over there. I think I found my spot right in this patch right here next to the sequoia, but away from it as well. It's a beauty. And I think Scott's gonna camp out somewhere over here. And I believe we also have the water. The water's right over there. Yeah, it's right down here. Beautiful. Let me show you guys around. Give you guys a little, little, cribs. little tour of, uh, of our cribs here, crib. Little MTV crib edition. Yeah, there's a tiny bit. <laughs> it's really dry out here, which is sad. Um, it's early, it's actually uh, middle of May, 2021, and it is super dry out here. <laughs> All set up under a giant sequoia. We're in a really good spot right now within the sequoias. Yeah, got a beautiful one over there. Give you a little sneak peek. Yep, everything's set up. The REI bag. This is just the, uh, what am I using? I think it's a cocoon. Yeah, cocoon travel pillow. From REI, it's pretty good. This is an REI down bag. And in case you're wondering, the Thermarest Neo X Lite. It's been okay. It lost air on me once, but um, I don't think it has a leak. I think I don't think I sealed it up right. And then Scott's Scott's house over here. Yeah. He's got the got penthouse. REI Half Dome Two Plus. <laughs> Looking pretty cozy in there. Directly underneath. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're checklist. yeah off of his bucket list. We're pretty deep off trail, so no one's gonna find us out here, and it should be a pretty nice night.
Okay, I just left Scott back at the campsite and he's gonna do some art. Art is his thing. And I'm gonna go do my thing, which is hiking. All right, let's see. Just came back on trail. I'm gonna go uh, on the Sugar Bowl Trail. I think there's an, a clearance uh, where you can see out. And I hiked there many years ago with my wife. We're camping uh, way off in the distance over there. So this is how I'll know how to find my way back is at the junction right here. get some views here the trail's pretty overgrown kind of bushwhack through it oh wow look at that this is great hiking along the Sugar Bowl Loop and it's been great. The views up here are really nice. Once you get up to the top, uh, there's really nice sweeping views of uh, the Kings Canyon cliffs. And it's a beautiful area, very, very beautiful area. Not too busy as well. I've only passed a couple of people up here. It's a Saturday, so surprisingly very, very quiet. we chose to camp at this spot. We had access to water. Pretty clear. I'm still gonna filter it though. Beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> oh! In Kings Canyon. Coming back. Oh, that looks good. So what's happening, Scott? Where, where are we going and what are we going to see? Uh, we're going to go some, I believe they're called snow plants. Snow plants? Okay. Yeah, I think they're really cool. They look yeah. kind of like, like a fungi or something. They're bright red. I think they're the first plants to come up after snowfall for the animals to eat. And I think they have a lot of nourishment in them. Okay. I have only seen them once before. Looking forward to it. Really cool. Is this our water source right here? I don't know. Like, Look at no one really talks about these things. The water source or the snow plants? The snow plants. Okay. Have you seen them yeah, they're red. Yeah, but I mean, don't you think they're kind of like fairy tale-ish looking? We're in the sequoias here. Yeah, they are. Um, cool. I always stop to look at them. Yeah. 
Thanks. Thanks, dude. <laughs> All right. Got some right here. Yeah, there's snow plants right here. Wow. Whoa. So you have a little grove. They're groves. Snow plant groves. Here, let me get out of the light. Let's see. Wow. Wow. I have never seen this many snow plants in one area. They're always solo. They row solo. Look at that. Wow. Plus these over here. Look at this one. How perfect. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at those things. The light. About to cook up some hot dogs. Got the bear canister up on the hill. What's that? <laughs> Do it again? <laughs> no, that can't be repeated. Tonight's dinner, chicken and dumplings. And using the Gonex stove. Just in case you're wondering, this is what the uh, Mountain House chicken and dumplings looks like prior to cooking. And here is what it looks like when it's cooked. Pretty good. Full kit. Under the giant. That's it, that's the end of the day. Time for a nice long sleep. Yeah, not at night. Time for some of my Jabby liquid microdose coffee. Delicious.
So just take a little bit of this. Just a small amount because it's pretty concentrated. And that's all you need for a perfect cup of coffee. So I think the plan is to drink coffee. Enjoy the morning, pack up, and probably head back to Southern California. Could you sleep in there? <laughs> <laughs> 